our heart is a very important organ and that's because it contracts and generates the hydrostatic pressure that is needed to move all that blood through the blood vessels of our cardiovascular system. Now the question is what exactly causes the muscle, the heart, to actually contract in the first place? This is what we're going to focus on in this lecture. So it turns out that the heart itself is actually capable of generating an electrical signal. And as this electrical signal moves within the chambers of the heart, it causes those chambers to actually contract. So it's the electrical signal that moves to the heart that causes the heart to contract as a whole and pump all that blood through the blood vessels of our body. Now recall that the autonomic nervous system is capable of regulating the rate at which the heart contracts, but, and this is an important but, even though the autonomic nervous system regulates the beat of the heart, it doesn't initiate that beat. So recall that cardiac muscle cells exhibit myogenic activity. And what myogenic activity means is our cardiac muscle cells are actually capable of generating their own electrical signal on their own accord without the input of our nervous system. So let's begin by taking a look at a cross section of the heart as shown in this diagram. So we have the right side of the heart, we have the left side of the heart, this is our superior and inferior vena cava, the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, the left ventricle, we have the pulmonary arteries that extend into the lungs and we have our aorta that splits into the ascending and descending aorta. Now let's zoom in, let's take a look at the right atrium of the heart. So this is the right atrium and the upper wall of the right atrium of the heart, this section here contains a collection, a bundle of specialized cells that together are known as the sinoatrial node or simply the SA node. And it's the SA node, it's the cells within the SA node that are responsible for initiating and action potential by depolarizing. So as the cells depolarize within the SA node, they generate an impulse and action potential that moves within the atria of our heart. And as it moves within the two atria of the heart, it causes those atria to actually contract. So the SA node basically initiates its own action potential without the input of our autonomic nervous system. And that's exactly why the SA node is commonly referred to as the natural pacemaker of the heart. It generates an action potential in the right atrium, which then moves into the left atrium and eventually into our two ventricles. So it triggers a set of electrical events within the heart that causes the heart to actually contract and pump all that blood through the blood vessels of our body. Now the rate at which the SA node actually contracts varies from about 60 to 100 beats every single minute and this is actually pretty high. So what the parasympathetic nervous system does is it uses the vagus nerve to actually uh, decrease the rate at which the heart actually contracts and we'll see what that means and how that works in just a moment. So. Once again, the SA node is the sinoatrial node. It's a collection of specialized cardiac muscle cells found in the upper portion of the right atrium that generates an action potential and impulse and then that impulse moves within special conduction channels through the right atrium and the left atrium and at the same time it causes these two atria to actually contract. Now, what exactly happens next? 
Well, if we notice, if we take a look at the following diagram, we have the SA node and we have another type of node known as the AV node, which stands for the atrioventricular node. Now, the atrioventricular node is also a collection of specialized cardiac muscle cells that is located inside the interatrial septum of our heart. That's basically the wall that separates the two atria of the heart. So this is found between the atria and between the ventricles of our heart. Now, what this AV node does is it, it, is it does two things. Firstly, once it actually receives that action potential from the SA node, it delays that action potential by about 0.12 of a second. And the reason it creates this delay in electrical signal is because it wants to make sure that the two atria finish contracting and finish moving all that blood into our ventricles of the heart. So once the AV node Node receives that electrical signal, that AV node delays that signal before actually depolarizing. And once it depolarizes, it also creates its own action potential that then moves via specialized cardiac fibers called the bundle of His. And these bundles of His are found within the wall that separates the right ventricle from the left ventricle. So let's move on to the following diagram. So in this diagram, this is our right ventricle, this is the left ventricle. And this wall that separates these two ventricles is known as our interventricular septum, which is the wall between the right and the left ventricle. So within this wall, we have this bundle of His, which is basically a conduction channel that begins at the AV node, and it travels through this wall separating our two ventricles. Now, as it travels, as it moves, the bundle of His then splits into two different branches. We have the left bundle and the right bundle and these continue moving within the interventricular septum and eventually also begin to split into very tiny extensions very tiny fibers we call the Purkinje fibers and these Purkinje fibers are found between the endocardium and the myocardium of our heart now together, the bundle, uh, the bundle of His and these Purkinje fibers basically distribute that electrical signal through the, bowl, through the two ventricles of the heart and it causes these two ventricles to actually contract at the same time simultaneously. So once again, the electrical signal is generated within the SA node, which is found in the upper right atrium of the heart. And as this electrical signal is generated, it moves not only through these conduction fibers found within the right atria, but it also moves through specialized conduction fibers known as the Bachmann's bundle, which travels through the left atrium of the heart. And so what that causes is, it causes the right atrium and left atrium to contract at the same exact time. Now, as they begin to contract, they begin to move that blood into these ventricles of the heart. Now, as these electrical signals come to the AV node, the atrioventricular node found in the interatrial septum in this section right here, that AV node delays that signal ever so slightly and that is to make sure that all that blood efficiently flows into the ventricles of the heart. Once our delay takes place, the uh, depolarization within the AV bundle takes place and that generates an action potential that moves via the bundle of His and then it splits into the left and right bundle and then even more splitting takes place 
until we get to our Purkinje uh, fibers. And these Purkinje fibers, what they basically do is they allow these ventricles to contract in a forceful manner at the same exact time. So these atria contract first, then they relax, and then the ventricle con uh, ventricles contract while the atria relax, and that creates a single forceful motion of the heart, and that pumps all that blood through the rest of our body. Now, it's the heart that actually generates the electrical signal itself, but the autonomic nervous system is capable of regulating the rate of that heart. So although the base heart rate is set by the SA node, and that's why we call it the natural pacemaker of the heart, our autonomic nervous system can regulate the heart rate as needed. For example, if we need the heart to actually pump quicker, the sympathetic nervous system can actually cause the heart to basically pump quicker. But if we need to rest the heart, if the pace needs to be lowered, the parasympathetic nervous system via the vagus nerve that innervates the cardiac muscle cells can basically extend into the heart and cause that rate to lower. In fact, because the SA node generates a rather quick pace, what the parasympathetic system does is actually it, it actually lowers that base pace that is created by the heart itself. Now, medically, the electrical conduction of the heart can be monitored, and this is known as the electrocardiogram. So if you've ever been into the doctor's office when they conducted an electrocardiogram, what they basically do is they put these six electrodes around the heart, and what those electrodes do is they basically monitor the voltage that is created by the heart. They monitor the electrical signal that is generated by that uh, by the heart. And by studying your electrical signal that is generated by the heart, they can determine whether or not some type of condition exists within the heart.